What is up my BA fam? Today we are out at Lake Harris and the weather conditions are actually quite in our favor. We got the Brave Angelus back there already getting started on us, but we have a tournament coming up here and we need to make sure that we come out and smash them. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna absolutely slaughter these bass without the violence, all right? But let's go ahead and get to fishing. Well, you're not a tournament fish, that's for darn <laughs> sure. There you go, guys. That's one. Yeah, no. So when the O goes to go out Oh, he's chunky. Look at that, guys. Alright guys, yeah that's a good uh, three pounder I think, let's, uh, let's, let's scale this one out, I need to figure something out for these, uh, for this tournament, if we can get around three pounders consistently, that means uh, means there might be bigger fish lurking, like that's a uh, not quite tournament fish. That's a good, that's a good lake fish. We're sending that. Yeah, 214, 214, all right. All right guys, so it is tournament day. We're out here on the Harris chain for the Lake County Sheriff's Office charity 11th annual event. We actually got my new friend Rick over here on the wheel. We are boat 70 and they are on 34. But I think we have a slight advantage today because we got a solid game plan. So we're gonna work on catching a five limit bag and then work on upgrading that bag as the day progresses. And let's get to it. Boat number 70, Stevie Ray Brave, Rick Tomato. All right, guys, so looks like we waiting on the lock. So let's 
try a little sneakiness while we wait. Oh, here here comes everyone else. Yeah, we might want to scoot up a little bit before they start trying to snake in here. Yeah, we don't need that. All right, you got it? Sailing. That wasn't bad. No. Nah. Woo! It's exciting. Now we're going to see how many people run to our spot. Yeah. Pickerel. Get out of here. Yep. Sometimes the first fish is always the hardest. It wouldn't have been a keeper even if it was a bass, so. Alright. Like I said, I knew we'd catch at least one of those little, little son of guns. We're like at the tail end of their mating season or their spawn. At least I know my hooks work. Do not tell, oh yeah, there we go, that's a keeper. That? Nah, nah, this is uh, 15 pounds. That's a keeper. Nice job, <sighs> Not quite what we're looking for, but. Well, he, he's not camera shy, is he? Nah. Here, bring him up front here. I'll get that live, live well fired up. Look at that, guys, our first keeper. Probably about. Maybe 1.4. All right, let's Maybe. get this. Uh... You have calling tags? Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and just put five on him because we're gonna we're gonna swap him out. All right, so they're here. Let's, uh, let's move a little bit more left. Okay. Uh, jerk bait. Uh, this one goes about six feet. Just working it slow. Where you wanna go, this way? That way a little bit.
Oh, got another one. Can't tell if it's a bass or bass. I don't. I don't think that's a keeper though. Uh, he's pretty damn close. We'll measure him. Chill, bro. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I. Oh, chill. I fish. Uh, I fish this stuff kind of differently a lot of people are scared to get these in the grass i just throw it on 15 pound fluorocarbon yeah. oh man dang i don't know how you got it in there buddy and uh and then at that point i don't mind because i'll just rip it through the rip the grass up and who cares uh, where's your uh, right there? Just pull the stick out right here. Right here. Oh, there you go. All right, but oh. yeah, you got him. No, no. oh, I shouldn't see. He's a he's an inch off. Hey, 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 that's like the one I got last week. No, nah, it looks pretty good. Okay. Um, hit this switch off. Oops. Yeah. And turn that off. And then put this on. Oxygen. Oh, where did I just cast for that? This way? Maybe his mom is around. Keeper? You need the net? I don't know, probably not. Oh no, that should be keeper. No, maybe. It's weird. It's like all the fish that were here the other day shrunk. I thought, I thought my first, oh, no, my second floor was bad. Okay. Keeper? I'm out. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> What'd you catch him off of? The rattle trap? No, it's a... Uh, uh, crankbait? Guys measure them down here. You squeeze the tail, or uh, it's nose. Um, the tip of the tail has to touch the 12. All right, you want to look? I got the nose up. The nose is up. Oh, let me slide on the other side. That's a keeper. Okay. We'll end up throwing them out anyways. Uh, just pour some of that monster down his gullet. This, oh, yeah, it'll stop the bleeding. You know what works too is uh, Mountain Dew. Yeah. There we go. That? I don't know. He's got me in the grass. Him. I can't afford to lose any. Come on. Come out of there, bro. You might have to go get him. All right. Oh, come on. Yeah, he's deep in there. Is he still on? Whereabouts? Uh, in this patch right in front of us. Oh, yeah. I, I see the patch. Come on. Come on. Let's keep 
Go. Come on. Come out of there. And this is why I use 15 on for this. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Get on this side, it might come out this way. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Come on. I can't even tell if he's still on there. Nope, he's still on there. I see the dirt coming down in the bottom. Yeah. I don't know, but I see it right there's a bed. Oh man. They he's like right up in that clump. Yeah. I believe that's a bed right up right in front of you. Oh yeah. 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 Oh man, come on, get out of there. It gets on there vertically. Yeah. Just keep touching on him. Come on. Come out of there, bro. <laughs> this little sucker. Oh, he got me all wrapped up and it had to be a treble hook. Bait. Come on. Yeah, I believe that's a pet right there. I can see the difference. Maybe he'll swim out. You still feel him? Yeah, look, if you if I loosen the line. See how it's tightening? I might have to dig him out. Oh, dang. Yeah, there's no way to get him out. Oh, come on. All right. Um, All right. Here, let's switch right quick. I'm just going to have to get the trolling motor right on him. You want to come up more vertical on him? Yeah. Because, like, the problem is, is whether this is 15 pound or not <laughs> it ain't pulling nothing out of that stuff i know all right you're almost at top all right oh, it might be a big hand come on come on yeah she's all wrapped up in that hopefully an alligator <laughs> we're about to find out uh, I don't know if it's worth me trying to move the. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just need to see where she's got me wrapped in. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> that was the least dramatic. No, it's a good thing you're a cop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you little sucker, man. Man, oh man, can you get over that? Well, you, you knew he was there. It, it looks like a bed down there when I, we came up on it. It's a little buck pass. Will you measure? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, after all that. Right. All right, stay right there. I'll get some stick. Man, I thought we were going to see a big slapper doodle. Yeah, so did I. But Whatever. Oh, and you got pliers. Uh, I think it'll go 12. Yeah, he's kind of long. You little son of a gun. And he broke one of my hooks. All right. Oh. Chill out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let me get the lip. Hold on, let me get this dorsal fin down. There you go. You want to put some juice on him? Yeah. At least that's on the outside of his face, not on the, his gill plate or anything. Dang, man, he broke my hook. It's all right. It's only one from the center, so it's all right. Dang, man. 
<laughs> I literally thought we had a good one right there, man. I was like super ecstatic. All right, count down, buddy boy. Well, we got three keepers. Got one. Uh, a little bit better than the last. Oh. Well. Uh, that should definitely be twelves. It's gotta be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Definitely 12. What was that, four? Four keepers? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Wild animal. Yeah, as long as we have four keepers, we can go fish. Knock off this uh, charade. And our meal tickets. Yeah. Oh no. We blew out. <laughs> okay. My boat went too fast, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Something happened. It's all right. It was only. Yeah, like right out. Five Yeah, like. Yeah, no. I got like. Yeah. Our foreheads are well tanned now. Smash. I got another bag of fish coming to the We're running around the corner. Matter of fact, I stopped fishing in there a week before Thank you, sir. Okay. All right, next book comes to the scale. Boat number 70, Stevie Ray Brave and Rick Amato putting five fish on the board. Five fish, five alive. Lucky seven, 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 seven. <laughs> That's jackpot, right? I said jackpot. Like pictures or anything? <laughs> no, no, no. All right, we got them. Right. You're good. Get your waist right right lift back. Right. Okay, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, they blew right out of the boat and, and our hats. <laughs> oh, you got? Yeah. Yeah, the meal's more important okay. than the hats. This went, mine went, and it goes, the tickets are gone. All right, hey, see, what do you think is going to happen? Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so obviously today did not go quite according to plan, and we're going to talk about that. Here in a second but first you know congratulations to all the winners of the lake county sheriff's office charity bass fishing tournament uh you know some guys really killed it you know uh first place had 33 pounds and then uh 14th place had 13 pounds or around 14 pounds you know and then uh all the way down to 26 they had like around 13 pounds we do not actually know where we placed but based on someone, we were guesstimating somewhere between, you know, 75 and 50 out of 135 boats. So we didn't do that bad. But let's talk about what we did and what happened. You know, we actually did not get our biggest fish on camera, but that fish actually affected a lot. And it's based on decision making, right? Tournaments are all based on how well you make decisions to get around the right type of fish. I base a lot of what decisions we were making based on the prior practices I had on those lakes. And 
you know, first thing, uh, we should have stopped somewhere and fished a little bit before the lock actually opened. We blasted off at seven, got to the lock at like 7.30, or not even 7.30, you know, probably around 7.30, but the lock actually didn't open until about eight o'clock, and we were the second iteration to go through. So we should have probably stopped somewhere in Lake Eustis to, you know, fish a little bit, you know, not waste that time. And then when we got to our first spot, it just wasn't producing the way it did for me in practice, but like I was stubborn. I knew we could catch five fish out of there and we ended up catching four there. Well, we caught six fish there, but only four were keepers. But we spent probably about two, three hours there, which was a big mistake. You gotta keep it moving. You know, um, hindsight is 2020, right? But then we had a couple canals, right? Uh, that we wanted to fish and right out the gate in this one canal that we fished, that we had to go there before we left Lake Griffin, we caught our biggest fish, which was between a three and four pounder. Here comes back to the decision making. I decided we were gonna fish that whole canal because it was a decent sized canal and we didn't get a single bite. You know, we spent probably another hour and 50, 30 minutes in that canal. Uh, we should have probably moved on much quicker. And then of course, on our way back to the lock, you know, uh, we got stuck in the lock because we were planning on fishing a little bit of Lake Eustis, a little bit of Lake Harris. We ended up only having about 15 minutes to fish in Lake Harris by the time we got back. And unfortunately there was already a couple boats on the spots that I had picked out in practice. So, you know, we just weren't able to get into where I wanted. And we pretty much were just randomly casting, hoping for a miracle that unfortunately didn't come. What I'm getting at is don't get stuck in your mindset, right? Cause that's exactly what happened to us. Like I, I felt that we could catch five fish in an area and I just, you know, they just weren't the quality of fish we needed. And we spent way too much time in spots where there were just not the quality of fish we needed to, you know, do well in this tournament. Um, you know, we also, ironically enough, um, so huge shout out to my buddy, Rick. It was absolutely awesome. He let us use his boat for this tournament. I'll link his YouTube channel down below. Awesome guy, very knowledgeable. If you guys are looking at rigging your own boats, definitely hit him up on his channel. He rigged that boat up super nice. We He had 360 pan, live scope, uh, you know, back of the dash, he had a couple units. Like he did an amazing job rigging that up. And that brings me to my other point, all right? I know a lot of people are harsh on the electronics. Like we, we fish this without using any electronics, not even side scanning, down scanning. We never even turned our graphs on except for to use the map. I had some spots pre-picked out and we just didn't get to get to all of them because we spent, we didn't manage our time well, right? But we had all these tools at our disposal and we ended up deciding not to use them, which, you know, in hindsight, if you have the tools, guys, use them, all right? If anything that gives you a competitive edge, you know, everyone else is using theirs. You know, but you know, I'm a very stubborn person. Uh, I don't really, haven't really got on that train yet. You know, I do know the important or the value of having those tools. And you know what? Uh, we have another tournament coming up on March 16th. Rick's gonna come out and fish it with me. Back to what we did wrong. Like I said, we just didn't manage our time well. We couldn't fish all the spots I wanted to fish. We ended up really only fishing three spots in total and only caught fish on the first two. And like I said, that last spot was like a last ditch effort to hopefully upgrade one of the fish. We did catch five fish that were keepers. So we did come back with a full live well, which is always a positive, but we're gonna take what we learned from this and just put it towards the next one. For all y'all following along in our Abu Garcia Revo X spinning reel giveaway, today's code word is going to be time management. Right, cause you know, like I said, that's where I slipped up, you know, like I said, I stayed in spots too long, but we're gonna take that knowledge and move it on into the next one. If you guys enjoyed videos like this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're gonna be hitting a lot more tournaments this year. Cause like I said, we got that main goal of eventually getting to the pros and it all starts down here on the ground level. So until next time, now go catch a fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah.